Well, NASA is one step closer to completing a daring mission using an unmanned spacecraft to collect pieces of an asteroid. It requires having a spacecraft catch up to orbit and scrape the asteroid surface, then return those samples to Earth. And now we're getting new images of the target of that effort. Chris Van Cleve reports. NASA unveiled these new images of Bennu, an asteroid about the size of five football fields and the focus of a roughly billion dollar mission to collect samples from its surface. Lift off of Osiris Rex. The SUV sized Osiris Rex spacecraft was launched almost two years ago and is now close enough to get a look at the asteroid. By December, it will begin a delicate dance with Bennu, steering close enough that its robotic arm will reach out and touch the surface to collect dust and gravel. It'll spend more than a year orbiting the asteroid and at just the right moment make its break back for Earth, bringing with it its treasure trove of otherworldly samples by 2023. It's chock full of uh, what we believe is amino acids. Some of the building blocks of life, we think it's got a fair amount of water. And it's these kind of objects that bombarded the Earth after the Earth was created that we believe may have brought the material so necessary to have sparked life here on Earth. NASA believes Bennu contains carbon that dates back 4 billion years to the start of our solar system. The mission, if successful, will bring back the largest collection of space samples since the Apollo moon rocks. By going there, bringing back a sample, that's the only time we'll know for sure how this fits in our evolution. There is another reason Bennu has NASA's attention. It has a 1 in 2700 chance of striking Earth in September 2135. That sounds remote, but by astronomical standards, that's cause enough to pay close attention. Next week, a different asteroid, this one the size of an Egyptian pyramid, will blow by our planet at 20,000 miles per hour, passing a mere 3 million miles from Earth. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Chris Van Cleve, Washington.